Hey Salavellas, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reading and reacting and responding to some of your assumptions about me. So if you want to see how mean or how chachi people can get, please keep watching. That you're rude and that you think that you're all that, but I noticed that you're not like these other women. Uh, so this girl basically assumed and then answered her own assumption. Number one, no, I'm not rude. And number two, I do not think that I'm all that. When people and those who've met me in public can probably vouch a test, vouch for this. When you come up to me, it's very awkward because I do not think that I'm all that. I think that I'm just like a normal, regular person, which I am. So no, I'm not rude and I am not all that. I don't think that I'm all that either. You're tall. Yes, I am. I am, I think like 1.72 centimeters tall, I think. You're an amazing cook, especially Indian food. Okay, so I enjoy cooking, not so much Indian food though, but yes, I do love, love, love cooking. And I would agree that I do cook quite amazingly. You have a savory tooth than a sweet tooth. Um, this depends on my mood. Also sometimes like if I had something sweet, then I need something savory afterwards. Or if I've been eating something savory, like for a long period of time, sorry about that. Also if I eat something savory for a long periods of time, then I need something sweet just to like bring it all together. You don't eat healthy and gym. I definitely do eat healthy um, and I do go to the gym. Not as much as I would like to, but I do go to the gym. You and Bleep are in secret competition. Absolutely not. So I have said in previous videos that I do not compete with people. Um, I have seen many instances where people are jealous of me, which I still really don't like and don't understand either. Like if you see someone doing well, just be happy for them. If you feel like your life isn't where you need it to be, work hard at your life. Why are you spending all your energy on being jealous of someone else or trying to compete with someone else? I really feel like yeah, I don't compete with anyone and there are people I know who have tried or who are or who will, who will who will compete with me in the future and that's just not something I entertain. So I've seen people compete with me guys and I just ignore it completely. And yeah, I am not in a competition with anybody except myself and that is the truth that you heard here first. Out of you and Trevino, you're the more talkative, louder one. It depends on who we're around. So if we're around people that I know and I like, I am the one that doesn't stop talking. Also when we're on YouTube, I am the one who talks a lot and Trevino isn't talking a lot because he's not that comfortable on camera. But if we're with people that he's used to or people that um, he knows more than I know, then I'm definitely more reserved and quiet. You're rich. So, not to get philosophical, but I think being rich is relative, okay? So maybe to other people, um, Trevino and I look like we have our lives together. We look like we have all the money and we're super rich. But then there could be people that we look at and we're like, wow, they're so rich. They have, like they're driving fancy cars. They live in fancy houses. And here we are in our two bedroom apartment. But um, yeah, so I would say that Trevino and I are not poor okay but we are also not super rich we have what we have we work for what we have and we've gotten everything that we have by working for what we have so i wouldn't say like i don't know what your definition of rich is but we own our house we own our cars so i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to answer that it's very awkward I'm starting to sweat this is getting weird you do things to put a show for people. I can definitely say that this is a Durban person because nobody puts show here in Joburg. But wait, let me tell you guys a funny story first. So one of Trevino's like relatives, like a second cousin person came to stay with us one December for Christmas. So like everything was chilled, everyone was fine, having fun. And he was like, you all don't put show here, which was very, very funny. For those of you who are watching that don't know what that means, that means like, um, in that guy's con uh, context, it means that like no one's fighting or no one's arguing or like going crazy. And in this person's question, it means that I do things to like show off to other people. I do not do things to show off for other people. One of the things that I love the most about myself, and I'm definitely gonna toot my own horn with this, is that I don't do things 
to compete with other people to can you focus so i don't do things to compete with other people i do not live my life to put on a show for other people i do not live my life to show off to other people and i don't live my life to outdo other people and there are people who live like that and all i can say is that's not me it ain't me getting very hot here guys okay you are average height turns out you're a tall goddess i am very tall i am very tall i assume that you prefer showers to baths um yeah definitely showers we have a tub i have not used that tub i don't even remember when last actually i do remember when last i had a tub tub bath when last i sat in the tub it was probably two years ago on christmas eve yeah definitely prefer showers and the hotter the shower the better you was a brat doll in your past life you're a super confident someone um yes i am very confident um but there are times where i have insecurities but it's about weird things it's not about myself it's about things like am i going to be able to live the life give the give my future kids the life that i want so it's not about insecurities about myself it's more about my future and my life but yes to answer your question in a long long way i am very confident you worked for the things you want slash need and nothing was handed to you correct trivino and i were both raised to be very independent so we don't depend on our parents for the stuff that we have we bought all our stuff alone and together um i'm trying to say this in a way that's not going to offend people because people get very offended it's not a bad thing if you do things on your own and it's not a bad thing if you rely on your parents to give you everything that you have each to their own this is just what trivino and i have decided to do with our lives and i actually think that one day we would like to give our children stuff so yeah i don't know if that answers your question i don't know why is it so hot in this room okay i'm new on your channel and have been enjoy all your videos down to earth and humble thank you for being a cela bella um yes i am down to earth and i think that i am humble i don't know like i said when you guys meet me it's very awkward for me because i'm just a normal person so when people come to me they're like oh can we take pictures i'm like Ew. it's kind of awkward because i'm just a normal person <laughs> but yes thank you guys thank you you look stuck up at first but i get so much motivation from you especially in the kitchen okay i don't know why people think that i'm stuck up i'm just quiet like if i don't know you i'm not going to smile i'm not going to talk i'm just like reserved into myself i am not stuck up once you get to know me i will not stop talking and i'm very loud and um i say weird things i say silly things i act very silly i act very goofy so yeah i don't think that i'm stuck up i feel like these assumptions videos should be done with other people next to me so they can vouch for what i'm saying because it's very weird sitting here saying all these things nice things about myself it's very awkward you live a very eventful life no <laughs> so if you guys watched my um last video you'd see that i'm working from home now but when i was working like at an office I'd go to work and come back home and cook and watch TV. That was my weekly task and then weekends is like just chilling again and then going to church on Sunday. So no, I don't think that I live a very eventful life. I think that I live a very quiet life. You naked. That was Trevino. And I have clothes on. There's not much to assume, you assume. There's not much to assume. You're pretty open on your socials. It's refreshing. Thank you. You're so loving to your family and friends. Yes, I am. The other day Trevino and I were actually talking about like we had a very open discussion about our flaws and our strengths and stuff and he told me and I completely agree with him that one of my flaws or one of the characteristics about me is if I love you, I love you completely wholeheartedly and I love you hard. There's nothing that I won't do for you. Um I always say people who are close to me knows that I say anything for family and family isn't only blood. I have a lot of people in my life who I love dearly who aren't related to me by blood. They are friends that have become family. But he also told me that when I don't like someone 
I'm all in. There's no in between. I either like you or I don't like you. And I go 100% on either side. So yes, I am very loving to my family and my friends. Uh, you love the beach? Not really. It's very weird. So I don't like being in the sun for too long because it makes me feel dizzy. If we're going to the beach, there needs to be a tree with shade so I can nap. I also don't like going into the ocean because I'm scared of the ocean and sharks and jellyfish and other things. And like I can chill on the sand but I need to be dry so I'm not like I don't like going into the water and then coming on the sand because then the sand gets stuck everywhere so yeah that is my whole story about the beach <laughs> that you're a perfectionist I definitely am sometimes it's good to be a perfectionist and sometimes it's very irritating because I want things to go a certain way and when they don't go that certain way I get very stressed so yes I am a perfectionist you're terribly calm and you don't get explosive when you're angry <laughs> Incorrect. I haven't been like explosively angry in a long time, but I when I'm angry I get explosively angry. I do get very very angry and um, But I, I don't get angry often like if there's an argument I'll just be like <laughs> And then get over it, but I don't get like angry very often. I clearly remember the last time that I was super 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 angry we went out and a fight broke out with someone some random person and someone in our family and when i heard that me a girl no muscle strength no body strength first of all lazy blob that never went to gym this was like maybe four years ago um when i found out what happened these tall men huge muscles like <clears throat> i like pushed them out of my way to go to the thing and check that the person was not dead so yeah, I do get very, very, very angry, but I don't get angry often. So when I do get angry, it's crazy, but I don't get angry very often. You weren't popular at school and you often wonder what they think of you now being an influencer. <clears throat> okay, so I went to four different schools. I went to two primary schools and two high schools. Um, I still speak to some people from my first primary school, they in KZN. And then the second primary school, most of those people came to my first high school with me, so I still keep in touch with them. Um, I wouldn't say I was not popular in my first high school. I did a lot of things that I regret doing, so I had a bad name. And I'll put that video on the eye. I think the eye is here. I'll put that video here. Um, second high school, I was only known as Trevino's girlfriend for like most of my high school career in the second high school which was from grade 10 to grade 12 so I wouldn't say I wasn't popular I was known but I wasn't like the popular girl in school people knew me because I used to talk a lot in class and ask silly things and just be funny and loud spoken and outspoken but I don't think I was popular and the second part was you often wonder what they think about you being an influencer um, I think it's very weird I think it's super 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 weird like I said it's very awkward for me when someone comes up to me and they're like hey or some random person like hey Salabellas I'm like oh, this is so awkward so I think it's very awkward a lot of them do support me and they're like oh you guys are so cool you're doing so well blah 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 but I still want them to treat me like the Selena that they knew in high school like I'm just a normal person putting videos on the internet so yeah you're bossy it's either your way or no way at all Refer back to the perfectionist question. Um, I wouldn't say that it's either my way or no way at all. I just feel like I'm a very logical person. I'm very type A. So I want things to be done in like step one, step two, step three. And then someone else may just be like, why do we need step two? Let's just go straight to it. So those are the like personality traits that are like. But I wouldn't say it's my way or no way at all. Like I'm open to collaboration, definitely. <laughs> unfriendly you and bleep are in secret competition so interesting tea about this person's question they asked me the exact so I posted the story twice I posted it on a Sunday and then a Monday again the person who asked me the question on the Sunday is the same person who asked me the same question on a Monday so I don't know what you know but there's no tea here very jokey yes I am funny I make people laugh by doing silly things I say funny things I'm very witty with my tongue yeah 
so I would say that I am very jokey. I don't like jokes. I don't like you. Comment below if you know where that's from. Not gonna assume this, but I will say this. You know who you are in Christ and comes through daily. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Um, I definitely do know who I am in Christ. I would say one of my issues though is that when I'm going through a little bit of a struggle, I tend to lean on my own understanding and not lean on God, which is not right. And sometimes I do forget exactly who and how amazing my God is. And I try and fix things myself, which doesn't end up the way it should. You were born on a Thursday. I think I was born on a Sunday. That your butt stuck up. Guys, I'm not. I'm literally, literally not stuck up. I just, I'm very quiet if I don't know you. If I know you, you're gonna wish that you never knew me because I can't stop talking. But I'm not stuck up and I'm not unfriendly. I'm just quiet and reserved. Like if I don't know you, I'm not gonna, like I'm an introvert. I'm an introvert. Let's just, I'm an introvert. You are the biggest softie. That is true. That is very, very true. Um, like I said before, when I love, I love hard. When I dislike, I dislike hard. And I am a big softie because I've been hurt um, many times by people that I've given so much to, that I've loved wholeheartedly and completely and I've been hurt by them and to this day it still hurts. Some of these things happened two years ago, some of them happened last year. Yeah, so I am a very big softie. I um, miss the people who are not in my life anymore. I cry a lot um, when I think about certain people. Um, I have a very soft heart, like I love doing charity work, I absolutely love it, but I don't physically enjoy doing it. So if we used to do blanket drives to Reno and I every winter, I would love planning it, I'd love collecting the blankets, I'd love putting together care packages, but I don't like giving it to people because I don't like seeing that. It makes me very, very, very sad. So yes, I am a big softie. I don't know why my voice just went quiet like I was about to cry. <laughs> you plan on having kitties soon. So, I do not plan on having children anytime soon, but obviously um, God's timing, but it is not in my Otrino's human plans right now. However, I will tell you guys that Trino and I, <laughs> We've already picked out names for our first child. So we have a name if it's going to be a boy and we have a name for if it's going to be a girl. So yeah, we have discussed it. We do want children, but not right now. I just turned 26 and yeah, I really want like a, a house with a yard and dogs for children, not a complex where my children can't play outside. You know what I'm saying? Not like a, a one month old baby is going to go play on the grass with dogs, but you guys know what I'm saying. But like I said, God's timing um, in my human plans right now, it's not on the cards to have kids at this moment, but definitely one day I will want kitties. You are a loyal friend. Correct. When I love you, I love you hard. I go all in. Um, when we're not friends anymore, I will not spill your secrets. I will not talk bad about you to other people. Um, because there was a stage in my life where I did love you and give, not that I don't love those people anymore but there was a stage in my life where you were a close friend to me so whether we are still friends whether we are not still friends I will always be a loyal friend and I do have a few friends like I said that aren't friends they're more like family to me so yes I have found that the older you get it's more important to have a small group of friends who do not compete who give you um, the support you need, who give you the advice you need, who are there to have fun with you, there to cry with you. And yeah, so I've definitely learned that um, quality over quantity of friends. And yes, I am a loyal friend. You say you're not a makeup artist, but deep down you know your makeup is always bomb AF. So <laughs> I'm not a makeup artist. And I think that I can do my face nice. I like the way I do my own makeup. But like even with my own face, there's things that I just can't do because I'm not practicing it. Like liquid liner and putting on lashes. <laughs> I also think that this year I want to learn how to do my face better. Um, so I want to go to like a class or something and learn how to do my makeup professionally. I also want to get up my skincare routine, which I've been doing now with the Pixie Beauty products that I have. 
but yeah i think one of my issues are definitely um the foundation i haven't found a foundation that i 100 percent love or one that matches my skin tone perfectly so i'm definitely looking forward to upping my makeup game this year you're pregnant because you're saying you're tired on most of your youtube videos <laughs> guys i'm not pregnant i am I'm not pregnant i am not pregnant when i am pregnant you guys will find out in the right time but i'm not pregnant also on a more serious note um and i think i heard this on daisy perkins channel don't ask women if they're pregnant do not ask a woman if they're pregnant if she wants to tell you that she's pregnant she'll tell you that she's pregnant you don't know whether she can't have children you don't know whether she's just had a miscarriage you don't know whether she doesn't want children so i don't think it's ever the right time to ask a woman if they are pregnant unless she wants you to know that she's pregnant you'll find out that she's pregnant and to answer that question she's not pregnant you don't like kids i do like kids a lot um right now i love kids because i can give them back to the owners but i do like kids some kids you wear the pants in the relationship no so um oh i always say so no i do not wear the pants in the relationship but i do believe that it is important for um the roles to change and for like everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses and i believe that if i'm strong in something i'm going to take the lead in that area of it if trevino is strong in something he's going to take the lead in that area of it for example trevino is super 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 amazing when it comes to numbers and budgeting so that's his task but also at at the same time trevino is really really bad when it comes to spending like he does not care he enjoys spending whereas me on the other hand i'm like mm, so I do believe that the roles need to be balanced and everyone needs to play up to their strengths. And then in our relationship, um, where I like my weaknesses are Trevino's strengths and Trevino's weaknesses are my strengths. I'm a cry baby. That was my cousin who did the crab curry uh, short, very short introduction mukbang and all um, in my December vlog that I'll also link here. Yes, I was a cry baby when I was a kid and I still cry a lot now. Like it doesn't matter whether it's that time of the month, whether I'm watching something with doggies on it, whether I'm watching something where there's a wedding or anything. If someone like if there's a competition, a cooking competition on TV and somebody wins the best meal or whatever, I will cry. So yes, I do cry a lot. You're hilarious. I don't know about hilarious, but I think I am funny. Um the last two is I have cute feet. So my feet are not ugly, they are by no means knick-knack toes, but I am not doing any foot modeling anytime soon. So there's your answer to that, you weird foot fetish person. <laughs> You're an untidy person. Uh... So I like organized chaos. I'm very clean in body, definitely. My house is always clean, but my space is untidy when I'm working. So I'm like you know in like nursery school when you finish doing your blocks and whatever you have to pack up i always pack up after i'm done but when i'm in the moment and when i'm working like if i'm filming a video or if i'm doing something creative or if i'm cooking or whatever it is there will be a mess but i definitely will clean it afterwards i hope you guys enjoyed that video and got to know me a little bit better and i hope that next time i do this video there will not be any you're stubborn or you're unfriendly and i hope you guys understand now that i'm just introverted and i'm shy and it's awkward <laughs> guys please give this video a thumbs up if you had fun don't forget to come back on friday at 12 30 for a new video i post new videos every tuesday and friday at 12 30 and then also for you guys who follow me on instagram you would have seen that i'm trying to get our wedding video to be the most popular video on youtube right now on my channel obviously not youtube as a whole so if you guys can please spare some minutes to watch my wedding video so that i can get it to be the most popular video on my channel by our wedding anniversary which is the 26th of july thank you guys for watching see you guys next time bye Stella bellas don't forget to subscribe